remember it's the Middle East and it's warmer here, and, and uh, especially during the day when it's sunny, it, it's uh, to be asked to take off your shirt. It might not be pleasant, but it's not the end of the world. It, 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 indeed, but but the the fact that some of those who have, were taken in that particular incident have now been released suggests that they were not members of Hamas. And whilst you were entitled Correct. to round people up in that manner, what the IDF is not entitled to do under the Geneva Convention is breach the Third Convention, which you did, didn't you, when you filmed them uh, in, in those positions? So once again, I, I don't think we're talking about uh, formal material that was released, and we have to look to uh, how the video did... If, if it uh, proves to have been filmed by the IDF, that's neither here nor there. Neither is the temperature in the Middle East. I right understand. Now, I understand. But I think that the important thing here is to remember these are military-aged men who were uh, arrested in a, in a combat zone. And as you've reported, people have already been released. We have no intention of keeping innocent people under, in custody. Uh, which, I, which I agree with, and I'm sorry to press you on this point, but if people have been released because they are not members of Hamas, if this was filmed by the IDF, it is a clear breach of the Geneva Convention, is it not? So once again, we have to look into where the video came from. It's not official video that was released by the State of Israel. If it were filmed by the IDF, as I just said, it would be a breach of the Geneva Convention, would it not? So I'm not, I'm not familiar with that level of, uh, uh, of international law. I know in the past, uh, prisoners of war have been filmed. Often that's good because families can identify people. But I, I, as it is a breach or not, I'll have to check with my legal department.